Hi, this is Lisa Meridian from Glorient Design, and I'm trying an experiment today um, with the record. So I have black gessoed a record, um, and I have uh, taped a small straw in there, so I can actually pick it up sometimes when it's wet, and I just get paint all over everything, so I figured if I need to move it, it would be better for me to lift it up like this. So we'll see how that works. Um, I've got all my paint poured. I think I will not do a flip cup today. Um, I'm looking for to do like a galaxy scene. So I have um, black mixed up. Um, two colors of purple. Um, a magenta white and a very dark blue. Um, I have Floetrol, uh, Glue All, water in them and I did put, put a silicone in the purples and the red. So let's get started. I ran out of cups, so I just cut the top off of a water bottle, and I'll be using that. That's how I do things. I just find what I have around the house and use that. So, a little purple. A little magenta. Teal, white, light purple, put a little bit more purple in. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pour some black around the edges. I have this. Uh, propped up with just a piece of plastic. As you can see by my messy table, I've been doing many pours in a row, so excuse the mess. So I think I will pour some black around the edges. This, I, um, I did not put any silicone in this, and I did, um, I put some uh, royal blue in with it because I, I'm, I'm one that I never like just black by itself. I like, as an artist, I like a little uh, contrast. So that's the black and let's see what this turns out to be. Ooh, it's pretty bright. I am going to add some blue to it because it's not doing what I want it to. So you know what? If you don't like it, you fix it. I'm going to put a little bit of black in with it because it really turned out too red. I did not want that much red in it. That's what's good about fluid painting. You just, you can change your mind. Well, it is looking pretty, but I think I want to torch it right away.
I did not want big cells because I want it to, to look more space-like. So now that I have it all into the black, I am going to blow it. I have a big fat straw, so let's It's looking kind of cool. I like how um, it's bubbling up over here. You can see that bubbling up pretty nice. I'm liking it, the blowing so much. I think I'm going to blow in the middle and see what happens. Oh yeah, see, that, that's nice. Some of the blue just came out. Again, you have to be careful with blowing. Sometimes I blow too hard and make a real mess out of it. So I like these really big straws. Um... I have all different sizes, but I find this this size works pretty well. Ooh, that's nice. When I blew, the teal came out. See, that's what happens when you blow too hard, but... Yeah. It is what it is. Ooh, I'm liking it. Might try just a little more torching. Yeah. Just a little bit more. I'm liking it. This actually was what I was going for, which is always nice when you're painting. Uh, we'll see how it dries. One more thing I might do is I think I might get a toothbrush and dip it in my white mixture, which is kind of runny, but I'm going to try um, just putting a few white flecks on there. To make it look a little more space-like around the edges. And I have a big spot there now. I'll blow that out. And there you go. There is my space record. I hope you had fun watching. I hope you have fun trying it yourself. And I'd appreciate if you click like if you like this video. And uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, Glorient Designs. Thanks for joining me. Happy painting and God bless.